Hello everyone, uh, today I am going to show you uh, the FD form, uh, how to design it and uh, how to uh, code for it. So it's uh, too much simple and uh, it's looking like uh, banking applications, but it's a demo application you know very well. So uh, you can check it and the design code and uh, see uh, in the code part. I will uh, explain you in details. So first of all, design the code, uh, design that um, you can complete the design part first. Okay, thank you very much. And uh, okay. Okay, uh, let's start to the code. So first of all, uh, add two uh, method stuff that is load date and the load mode. And the load date is directly related to the date, uh, and uh, mode is related to the combo box, which is in which you can add two items. That is, first item is the uh, cash, and the second is the check. Okay, so uh, we have two way to uh, transfer the money that that is from cash and that is from check okay in the load date you can add the utc time on your label control so date label dot text equals to uh, date time dot utc now dot a uh, dot to string in which you can add the mmdd yy format okay so it's fine and uh, after that you can uh, uh, use the save button and when we click on the save button so first of all get the information uh, of the uh, user accounts so accounts equals to dbe dot user accounts dot where x dot account number and account number is not there so first of all get the account number and that is account number is from the text box so convert dot to decimal and the account text dot text okay and uh, account number dot single or default okay it's not actually it's not a decimal so first of all change it okay in the variable type and open the fd form actually uh, because the fd form getting the informations it's related to the fds so fd form dot account number is convert dot to decimal is account number you can also pick from above but okay it's okay fd form dot mode is combo box one dot selected item dot to string fd form dot uh, okay uh, so start it ft form dot rupees is rupees text or text periods is um, actually it's a uh, it's a simple uh, you can uh, simple thing you can count that interest rate the actually interest rate is depends on the amount multiplied by days multiplied by rate interest of rate and divide by 100 it's uh, it's a uh, logical things you can 
uh, add in the uh, in into your program okay so the interest rate is getting from the interest tax dot tax and the start date is getting from um, utc now dot to string and also mention the maturity date maturity date i mean to say in the days so in the start date you can add some days so date time dot now utc now dot add days so add days is and days is related to the convert dot integer 32 that period text dot text how many uh, how much days you want to use the fds so dot to string okay in mmddyy format in the date time okay and after that fd form dot maturity amount how to calculate the maturity amount uh, it's basic thing so first of all convert the text of the main uh, you can save the principal that is rupees dot text how much rupees you want to uh, put into the fds so that is the rupees text and convert to, to integer 32 it is the period that how much days you want to uh, use uh, in the fds and multiply also convert dot to uh, that is the interest rate and that is interest rates dot text after that what is thing and is divided by uh, is divided by the 100 multiply by 12 multiply by 30 it's a logic okay and add it in the convert dot to decimal that is rupees tax dot text that is the total maturity amount okay and in the fds dot add fd form after that you can add in the fd form you want minus or you can say you can subtract uh, rupees from the main account also okay and after that main account will deduct it from the money uh, okay so you can uh, do these things easily and the save changes will call after total things happen okay decimal amount equals to convert dot to decimal and the rupees text dot text it's total toll to amount amount and the total amount is convert dot to decimal account accounts dot balance and the FD amount is where is FD amount total amount minus the amount okay so thank you very much guys and uh, please keep watching my all other video tutorials which is related to windows form and don't forget this please subscribe my channel if you like this video and share this video also um, if you subscribe this channel uh, i will give you a better video tutorial of windows form and also i provide you lots of projects uh, which is related to windows form sure uh, believe me I will provide you a um, lots of videos and lots of project videos uh, in Windows form so you can put this and uh, check your account informations that is account number is one modish cash and rupees is 1000 you can
rupees is 1000 and periods is 180 days enough and the interest rate is 6 percent so first of all check the account information yes 4000 is there in the jacob accounts I'm going to FD now 1000 okay there is thank you very much for watching